Welcome to our brand new data review of the best modular helmets for 2022. We tested all top brands that are available on the market today and in this video we'll find out how they stack up. We have sent out our rider again with all the measuring equipment on his motorcycle and he came back with a lot of interesting data so sit back and get ready to find out which helmet can call itself the absolute best of the best modular helmet of 2022. Hi everyone, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and please let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Okay, before we start, first a few things in general. Modular helmets are designed to provide a good balance between the protection of a full face helmet and the convenience of an open face helmet. Modular helmets are super comfortable and therefore they are very suitable for touring purposes. To find out which helmet can call itself the best modular helmet of 2022, we have tested all the quality brand helmets on the road and we've collected, analyzed and compared the data. I will go through the findings and conclusions with you in detail in this data review. So keep on watching. Okay, let's start the data review with an important factor of a quality helmet, the material. In this section we look at two points. The first point we look at is from which material the outer shell is made. Here we have divided everything into three options increasing in quality. These are polycarbonate, fiberglass and carbon fiber. The second point we look at for material is the number of shell sizes in which the helmet is available. This is something that is often overlooked but is really important. The more shell sizes a helmet has, the more compact around the head and safer it is. In addition, a helmet with a compact outer shell also looks better. Now let's take a look at the results that have emerged from the material part. The AGV Spart Modular and the X-Lite 1005 immediately take the lead on this part. Their excellent score is due to their three outer shell sizes and their carbon shell. The Shoei, HGC, Scorpion and the AGV Tour Modular all score equally on this part. The shell of these helmets consists of a fiberglass composite and they come in three shell sizes just like the Spart Modular. However, these helmets score half a star less because they are made of fiberglass. For the Scorpion, the helmet comes in only two shell sizes, but is compensated by its full carbon shell. Furthermore, we see the Shark Evo GT and the Nolan N105 Plus finish at the bottom, with a score of 2.5 stars. Now let's move on to see if the AGV and the X-Lite can maintain their lead. The second part we're looking at is the weight. Of course, you want the helmet to be as light as possible. This gives a nice riding experience and prevents fatigue in the neck especially when we talk about touring helmets. For this part, we have weighed all of our helmets and noted their weights. Then we have compared this with the band widths in our weight metrics to come to a score. In our weight metrics, you can see how the scores are built up. The lighter the helmet, the more stars it earns. To make a good comparison for the weight part, we weighed all helmets in a size M. So let's take a look at the results. We immediately see that the AGV Sport Modular again scores very strongly in this part. Due to its extremely light weight of only 1341 grams, this excellent results make the Sport Modular by far the lightest modular helmet we have ever weighed and therefore it scores the full score of 5 stars on weight. So excellent result for the AGV. The HGC, Scorpion and the Roof also do well in this part as the only ones with 1500 gram range. All these helmets get a neat 4 stars for their weight. The rest is above 1600 grams and the X-Lite and the Nolan even above 1700 grams. It is in itself remarkable when you consider that the X-Lite is made of full carbon, which should make the helmet extremely light, which is not the case. This was a bit disappointing of the X-Lite. Modular helmets often tend more towards the heavier side and this is also reflected in this section. So far the AGV Sport Modular is strongly the lead. Pretty interesting so far. Let's move on to the next part of the Best Modular Helmets 2022. Okay, nice. We have now arrived at the visor part. To determine a score on the visor, we look at all kinds of properties of the visor. Examples are whether the helmet is or isn't pin look prepared and if the pin look lens is standard included in the box. And even better if this is a Max Vision pin look. In addition, we also look at the visor mechanism. Is this a simple lever or does it have an advanced spring mechanism? 
Furthermore, we want to know if the helmet comes with an integrated sun visor, what the field of view is like, if there is a dark visor included for free or any other accessories. One option is obviously not the other option, so some points are therefore judged more heavily than others. In our visor metrics, you can see transparently how points are awarded per option. This way it is clear how the helmets got their scores. If a helmet is only pin look prepared, it deserves half a star. If it does not have a pin look lens but is anti-fog coated, it earns three quarter stars. If the helmet is pin look prepared and the pin look lens is included as standard in the box, then it earns 1.5 stars. Depending on how good the field of view is, it earns half a star. For an integrated solar sun visor, the helmet earns one star. The quality of the visor mechanism is rewarded between 0 to 1.5 stars, depending on the quality of the mechanism. Ok, now let's look at the results. We have the Shoei Neotech 2 and the Scorpion that scored the full 5 stars for their visor. The Neotech 2 owes this top score to the CNS3 visor. The Shoei actually offers pretty much anything that a modular helmet can offer in terms of visor specs. A very advanced visor mechanism, an integrated sun visor, a wide field of view, a pinlock lens prepared visor and a Max Vision pinlock lens standard included in the box. The Scorpion has exactly the same qualities, except for the visor mechanism. The visor mechanism of the Scorpion is slightly weaker, but the helmet compensates this with a free smoke dark visor in the box. These two helmets have therefore received the full 5 stars for their visor. The same qualities apply for the Schubert C5, but the Schubert also had a slightly less advanced visor mechanism. The advanced spring mechanism of the Shoei was better and this minimal difference was enough to take the lead. Furthermore, we really don't see any major differences. Only the roof boxer carbon really let us down on this part. With a disappointing score of 1 star, the helmet is far down at the bottom. All those extras that we did see on the other helmets are unfortunately missing on the roof boxer. So, the Shoei and the Scorpion taking the lead on the visor part. Ok, great! So much for the visor. The next part we are going to look at is the noise isolation. A good noise isolation is of course always nice, but especially for touring helmets where you often will be making longer trips. When making longer trips, it is very comfortable if a helmet is nice and quiet. We measure the sound during our road test with a DC bell meter, which is mounted on our bike. Our rider rode long straights on the highway for each helmet, and we have taken the average DC bell score from this. These measurements were all made at a wind speed between 115 and 130 km per hour. A 1 decibel difference seems negligible at first impression, but with these kind of values every decibel difference can be clearly heard, so every decibel does matter and is clearly audible. In this part we also use a score metrics that we have developed especially for our noise isolation test. The lower the number of decibel, the quieter the helmet is and the higher the number of stars the helmet will score. According to our metrics, a score below 98 decibel gives the ultimate score of 5 stars. Let's see how our contenders did on the noise part. If we look at the results on noise, we see pretty big differences. At the top we see that the HGC R590 is not only the quietest modular helmet from this test, but it also took the title of quietest modular helmet and even more surprising, it was actually the quietest helmet in general that we have ever tested. With an extraordinary quiet 79 dB, belt, the HGC scores the full 5 stars. When talking about a quiet helmet, we can safely say that it doesn't get quieter than this. This is very special because modular helmets are often noisier than full face helmets. This is because they have cracks and seams at the chin guard. Along these cracks, wind and noise enter the helmet. However, at the same time we see that modular helmets are becoming quieter and quieter. The HGC is therefore the ultimate silent helmet. The HGC is chased after by the new Schubert C5 that is only 1 dB louder. The Schubert then again is closely followed by the new HGV2 modular and comes with a very nice 99 dB. These top 3 helmets are therefore the absolute top if you are looking for a quiet helmet. It is striking here that we find the X-Lite, the Nolan and the Roof at the bottom of this list again. Also surprising is to see the score of our Scorpion that has always been in the top so far. Unfortunately, it fails on sound with a pretty loud 103 dB. 
but we are still talking about the very best modular helmets available today, so that 103 isn't that bad at all. With entry-level models you will soon be in that 107 to 109 decibel range, which once again emphasizes the exceptionally strong result of the top three. Very interesting result on noise isolation. Okay, now we move on to another important part of a helmet, which is the ventilation. To determine the score for the ventilation component, we compare the temperature inside the helmet and the outside temperature. A well-ventilating helmet efficiently removes heat and manages to keep the inside temperature the same as the outside temperature. Again, a short explanation on how we come to our results. If we look at our ventilation metrics, we also use bandwidth to determine our score. If it's not warmer inside the helmet than the outside temperature, we speak of an excellent ventilation. The lower the temperature difference, the more stars the helmet deserves for its ventilation. Now let's have a look to see how our helmets performed on ventilation. If we put all competitors in a graph, we see that the Shoei, HGV and the Shark are at the top. This is because the inside temperature in both helmets was 1 degree cooler than the outside temperature. This is an excellent result and with that score all three helmets earned a maximum score of 5 stars. Striking here is of course the Shark. This helmet was at the bottom of the list in the previous criteria and it absolutely peaks here with its perfect score on ventilation. So very well done by the Shark. With the other helmets we see that the inside and the outside temperature are the same. They also score strongly on the ventilation part. However, we do see another outlier, namely the roof boxer carbon, whose inside temperature was 2 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. This was disappointing given its price. It is remarkable to see that the differences here are already a lot smaller with sound insulation if we look at somewhat budget-friendly alternatives on these helmets. You can see really big differences. But again, the helmets we are looking at today are the absolute cream of the crop, so they almost all deliver the absolute top. Okay, so far for ventilation. This brings us to comfort. This is also the only subjective part of our road test which we call comfort, but actually includes much more than just comfort. In this section we assess subjective criteria such as comfort, wind resistance, the feel of the inner liner, the finishes and the overall feel of the helmet. These are criteria that are difficult to capture in hard data and that's why for this part we rely on the more than 15 years of experience of our test rider. Our test rider has tested all of these helmets and can therefore compare the helmets like no other. We have extensively tested all these helmets in an individual review and they have been awarded with points for their comfort. We have collected all these scores and put them down in a graph for you. Let's take a look at the findings of our test driver. Our most comfortable modular helmets are the Shoei Neotech 2 and the Schubert C5. Both helmets scored the ultimate score of 5 stars on comfort. Our rider told us about the Shoei that the level of finish and the eye for detail is special. As an example, he gave that for the part behind the ear, the inner liner uses a different softer material than with the rest of the liner. This is because this is a more sensitive area. He found this typical Shoei's eye for detail. He also described the behavior of the helmet on the highway as very refined. The Schubert C5 owes its top score to, among other things, its high quality inner liner. But an example for the quality of the Schubert, our rider mentioned the hidden anti-roll-off system under the lining and he described this as brilliant. He found that this empathizes how far the Germans are willing to go for safety, even if this is not visible for the average rider. He mentioned this as a typical example of the quality and comfort of Schubert. Also striking about this graph is the score of the AGV Sport Modular that scored so strongly on weight and material. Our rider was not impressed with the feeling on the road with this helmet. It did feel light, but the position of the chin strap and the lining was a bit meh, according to our rider. <laughs> As a result, it scores half a star lower than its direct competitors. Also, a disappointing score came from Scorpion. The Scorpion was always at the top, besides the score on noise. Its scores of 3 stars on comfort was therefore not entirely expected. Our rider mentioned the inner liner as a bit of a letdown. He said that it had a bit of cheap feel to it and it did not offer a lot of options. At the very bottom we find the roof boxer which is now very comfortable in that place. Our rider indicated that this helmet is loud, heavy, weak on ventilation and moreover so focused on design that important criteria have been somewhat neglected. 
Our rider did find the design of the roof boxer very cool, but to put it in his words, the helmet looks raw and really cool, but that pretty much sums up all of the benefits if you ask me. Okay, great. Now with that out of the way, we come to the feature section. For this part, we look at what extras the helmet comes with. In doing so, we have taken into account the options that riders have asked us for the most. This can include communication system options, the quality of the flip-up mechanism, the certification that the helmet has, whether or not it has been wind tunnel tested, and much more. In our features metrics, you can see transparently how many points are awarded per option making it very clear on how the helmets get their stars for the feature section. If a helmet has speaker pockets, it deserves half a star. If it has a quick release inner liner, it gets another half a star. If the helmet is prepared in a glasses friendly way, it gets a quarter star. For the overall finishes, it can earn another quarter star. This includes the paint, the screws, the stitching, the glue and other binding materials that have been used. For communication options, a helmet can earn half a star. The levels here range from built-in speakers, the ability to conceal the communication system in a shell, to a built-in microphone. Many people think that you can ride open with any modular helmet, but this is absolutely not the case. When you want to ride with a modular helmet open, it must be PJ certified, and this costs a lot of money for manufacturers to have their helmets carry multiple certification, and so many manufacturers leave this out. So this is why we rate this option by a full star. Finally, the helmets can also earn a full star if they are wind tunnel tested. This is a costly way of testing and therefore the helmets that are wind tunnel tested are often the helmets in the absolute top when it comes down to wind drag, comfort and the overall riding experience. Other helmets are tested in simulation software which is a much cheaper testing method but also gives a less result. Okay, so much for how the helmets get their scores. Now let's dive into the results. We immediately see that the Schubert C5 scores a 4.5 stars on this part. This is due to its extensive communication options with built-in speakers, built-in microphone, a fully consignable plug and play communication system, superior finish, its excellent flip-up mechanism, the extra safety options, the anti-raw off system, the PJ and 202006 certified, and actually wind tunnel tested. So this helmet carried pretty much every possible option that matters and the anti-raw off system gave it that little extra that puts the C5 on top. Then this time we see that the Nolan X-Lite suddenly comes out strong. They actually also had all the options that we saw with the other strong helmets and offered the possibility to adjust the liner. Disappointing was the Shark Evo GT which has not been wind tunnel tested and still had a somewhat weak finish. And yes, you guessed it the roof boxer that is very poorly equipped with quality options. It is interesting to see that we could again see large differences on the feature sections. Now that each part has been discussed, let's take a look at how the helmets have performed across the board. Ideally, you want a helmet to perform well overall. We are now going to look at the performance of each helmet by category. This gives us a complete idea of how the helmets actually relate to each other. We see that the HGV Sport Modular and the Shoei Neotech 2 have a great score range. Closely followed by the C5, the HGC 90S Carbon and the HGV 2 Modular. The Scorpion had a few nice outliers on the visor and weight. Furthermore, the Shark Evo GT and the X-Lite X 1005 Ultra Carbon are also still in the race. However, there is one less important aspect that plays a huge role in knowing which modular helmet really is the best, which is of course its price. Let's see what happens when we weigh in the price of all of these helmets. Okay, great. We have already seen a lot of interesting data and certain outliers on certain sections. Despite of the fact that the helmets may score well, the price is an important factor in their overall score. Because if two helmets perform the same, but one of them has a lower price, it scores relatively better. That's why we look at two variables to determine the value for money. The first is the average number of stars. This mainly says something about the quality. The second is the euro per star amount. This mainly says something about the price quality. These two variables are both being used in our formula to determine the price quality score. This score is the last section we are going to look at before we come to our final ranking. At the very top we find the Shoei Neotech 2. 
it gets the highest price quality bonus of 4 stars. This because the helmet has both a great average star score of 4, but also a nice score of 21 euros and 35 cents per star. Then we see the Schubert C5 in second place with a nice average star score of 4 and a nice score of 20 euros and 5 cents per star. Closely followed by a shared third place we find the HGC and the Scorpion. The HGC earns its position thanks to its consistently strong scores on almost every section. The HGC has a strong average star score of 4 and a nice score of 21 euros and 10 cents per star. Of the showy Schubert and HGC we can say that they consistently scored strongly on almost every part. Normally this is really what you want to see. They are the all-rounders on this list who have been so extensively developed and fine-tuned that they hardly have any weaknesses. The Scorpion scores high thanks to its solid scores which come at a very attractive price of only 4939 euros. This gives the Scorpion an excellent price quality ratio and therefore it earns a nice bonus of 3.3 stars. Very neat of the Scorpion. If we look farther at our strong AGV Sport Modular, we see a price tag of 790 euros and 95 cents, which costs its stars in this part. It is simply too expensive for the quality it offers, and you can see that very well in this part. As a result, the AGV Sport Modular is in a disappointing fifth place. Lower on the list, we see the Nolan X Lite, which didn't score very well across the board, punishing down both their average star score and their euro per star amount. At the bottom we find the roof boxer, but this will of course not surprise you by now. Now that we have visualized the value for money, we have all our data and we can go to our final conclusion. Okay, now that we know all of this, we have added everything up and we have come to our final conclusion. We finally find out which helmet can call itself the very best modular helmet of 2022. To keep it exciting, we start at the bottom. On the 10th place we find the Roof Boxer, a helmet that you buy for its raw devilish looks but certainly not for its comfort or quality characteristics. In the 9th position we find the Nolan which was strong on the visor, ventilation, comfort and the value for money, but scored weakly on sound, material and weight. Actually the exact same also applies to the X-Lite at place 8. In the 7th place we find the Shark Evo GT which was strong on the visor, on comfort and extremely strong on ventilation. However, it scored weakly on material, weight and noise. At the 6th place we see the HGV Tour Modular. This helmet was actually consistently strong in all areas. It was nowhere the best, but it was always competing. Only on material and weight the helmet came just a little short. Then our first helmet from the top 5, the Scorpion Exo Tech. It scored very strongly on weight, visor, ventilation and value for money. Then in the 4th place we find the AGV Sport Modular which scored extremely well in each area but was penalized in the value for money section. In other words, they have overpriced it. But other than that, in terms of performance, it is really absolutely solid. Now let's enter our top 3. In 3rd place we find the HGC 90S Arfa Carbon, consistently strong on all criteria and a real all-rounder. And on top of that it also took the special title of the quietest helmet we have ever tested. So very neat. Only on material it fell a little short to take the title. This leaves us with only 2 helmets. The Schubert C5 and the Shoei Neotech 2. Then the burning question. What is the best modular helmet of 2022? The Shoei or the Schubert? The answer to this question is the Shoei Neotech 2. This helmet narrowly triumphs the Schubert C5 thanks to its material. The Neotech 2 has a 3 helmet shell sizes where the C5 only has 2, which give the Neotech 2 just that edge. The visor mechanism of the Neotech 2 was also better equipped than of the C5. And in terms of ventilation, the Shoei Neotech 2 was also slightly better. The C5 on the other hand was lighter, quieter and richer in options than the Neotech 2. So it's a very intense and equal fight between these two, with the Shoei Neotech having a small edge over the C5 for now. Well, this was it then. It was extremely exciting, but the Shoei Neotech 2 remains ahead of the Schubert and can therefore proudly call itself the best modular helmet of 2022.
This completes our quest for the best modular helmet of 2022 and we have come to the end of our Champion Data review. We went through all the helmets carefully and our test rider then road tested them all with our measuring equipment. This gave us the winner based on actual values. Although most helmets have performed well, the Neotech 2 from Shubi did slightly better than the Schubert C5 and therefore is the rightful winner. Do you want to know more about the Neotech 2, the Schubert C5 or about any of our top 10 modular helmets? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, where you can view more of these types of data reviews and road tests. Also take a look at championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantees and nice bundle discounts. If you have any further questions or you need help with your order, please contact us. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets and I will see you next time.